<laughs> well, hello, my name is Sean Michael Geddes, and I'm a man who happens to be transgender. Um, or, for those of you who don't know what that means, when the doctor handed me over to my mom, he said, it's a girl, but look at me now. He was wrong. <laughs> it may have taken a long time to get here, but this is who I am and how I have been presenting myself for the last decade. Last week, Representative Kavanaugh said um, that all transgender people should be in jail. <laughs> well, we won that battle. <laughs> this week, he says that we should just be degraded and humiliated when trying to use the public restroom. What? Maybe next week he will actually get to know one of us. I'm free for coffee. <laughs> Let's get real here. This bill is unnecessary legislation. <coughs> no problem exists. It's not fixing anything. There are no cases of transgender people causing problems in private spaces. There are cases of people attacking transgender people. So this law instead legislates bullying and makes it legal to harass people who are already on the fringes of our society, who are already marginalized. By using the term gender expression in the new wording of the bill, he's opened up a whole kettle that I don't think he understands. This law doesn't just apply to a few of us anymore. Everyone has a gender expression. It's in the way you wear your hair, the clothes you choose to wear. It's in the way you walk and the way you act. And this bill opens it up so that anyone in any place that's a private space in public places can discriminate. It's legalized discrimination, plain and simple. I'm especially concerned about the communities <coughs> who cross over different boundaries and different barriers who have more than one thing already against them. The deaf, people with disabilities, people of color, people experiencing homelessness, the youth. These people already have people looking at them when they go places, when they enter restrooms. This kind of law just makes it worse. We've already seen a rise in hate crimes against our youth. Just since this bill was put out there. Kavanaugh claims this is about physical anatomy, but that's not actually in the <coughs> bill anywhere. It says gender identity and expression. So please, decide for yourself. Should we have a law that says anyone can be discriminated against at any time? Should we have a law that makes it legal to deny access to private places? Should we have a law that takes away our right to privacy? It's called legalized discrimination and it's wrong. So please call your legislators, write them, tell them how you feel about this law. Because otherwise someone will be able to simply say, I don't like the cut of your chip. No loo for you.
the same 